photometric lights. Photometric lights are used to add very realistic light effects to our scenes. This is because it calculates the light energies used in the real physics with the real world. We have three different types of photometric. If we go up here to uh, create, to lights, and in photometric, we have three different types, target light, free light, and an MR sky portal. Um, however, um, we have to have our lights set up um, typically as uh, a mental ray um, a rendering engine. So if you don't, uh, what will happen is if I go to a free light, I have the default scan line on right now, I'll get this message saying, hey, you're about to create a photometric light. It's recommended to use log logarithmic uh, exposure control, and you should say yes to this, okay? Now, if you were up in your render setter set, set up and you already had it set to uh, a mental ray, okay, and then you came along and picked on free light, you're going to get this light, the photometric light creation, saying, hey, you're, you're creating a photometric light. It's recommended to use the MR photographic exposure control, and you should say yes to this, okay? Now, it's going to ask me then to place a light. I'll place a light in here. There's my light, okay? And you can see over here are all my uh, rollouts. Now, in my template rollout here, I have to come and pick a light. So I select the down arrow, and there's all kinds of pre-canned photometric lights. So we have light bulbs, like a standard incandescent light bulb. We have halogen lights. We have fluorescent lights, four-foot pendulum fluorescent lights. We have street lights, a stadium light, etc. So I'm just going to put in like a 75-watt bulb incandescent light. And I'll say, OK, light properties are on. I can turn on my shadows, etc. And I'm going to come over here to my intensity, uh, color and attenuation here. Um, so here I have the color set by uh, the properties of the light. The Kelvin is the uh, range of color of the lights. Uh, so we have in I can pick on uh, warm colors uh, or, or cool colors, if you will. And so I can kick this number up to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. And these are degrees Kelvins. And so we have warm and cool. So blue colors and green colors are cool. And we have the warm colors, which are kind of the oranges and yellowish, reddish colors in the warm colors. We can set the intensity. And the CD is for candela is our units. And the LM is for our uh, intensity of aluminum is our aluminums are our measurement there and uh, so we can set that uh, candela is probably what you're used to in you know in the United States probably uh, uh, dimming dimming is used to set the intensity of light by dimming the light down so right now I have 95 candelas and I can turn that on and it'll start at 100%. I can change this thing to 50. And uh, that will act like it's dimming the light down, like I'm using a dimmer on the light. And I can check this on if I have an incandescent lamp color shift when dimming. Since I am using uh, essentially my 75 watt bulb, I would want that on because that would represent a dimming of a 75 uh, watt incandescent light bulb down to 50%. Um, but I'm going to take these off. I'm going to go um, back up to 100% default. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to have all the light on there I can right now. And uh, I also come down to shape and area shadows. I can emit a light from a shape. And so right now, I can't do that with a point option. I have to come down and choose a different shape, such as a rectangle. And I can set the size, the rectangle, etc. 
um, that I want. I can have that light shape visible in my rendering, which I'm not a big fan of, but you can do that. And I can set my number of samples for my shadows. The higher the number, the higher quality of your shadows. So um, I'm going to go back to point and say, all right. And at this point, then I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to right click and I'm going to move my my light here a little closer. Oop. And I'll just run a quick rendering here, All right? And there we have it. All right. So I probably need more lights in mine. All right. And uh, so my lighting is there. We go. And let's move our shadow a little bit over there. Okay. And I'll run another rendering. Now that I got it positioned a little better. Okay, there's my teapot, and you can see it's kind of dark. I always recommend three lights. You know, they're primary front light, secondary front light, and a what I call a highlight backlight for like a shine on somebody's hair. So here we have photometric lights, and photometric lights are really uh, meant to represent uh, realistic lighting, uh, the way that. Um, are, are any lights that we typically use. So in particular, you can come down and, and pick on those pre-can templates uh, and, it, and it'll give the representation of those particular types of lights right off the bat. 